Welcome to the Creature Cast, the official console creatures podcast. Happy New Year, everybody. My name is David Petrangelo, and I'll be one of your hosts for this journey into all things video games as we kick off 2023. Mm-hmm. And say Happy New Year to Steve. Steve, how are you, man? I'm I'm good. I'm refreshed. I'm ready for another year of podcasting with you fine gentlemen. Uh, it's kind of weird to say 2023, but uh, I feel like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, yeah. Let's kick it off with a bang. Bobby, how are you, man? Happy New Year. Happy, what is it? Wait, I don't even know what date is anymore. Happy New Year, right. everybody. Well, I'm it's still, still early vacation. January. Yeah, exactly, right? So, Steve, the fact that you said that you're rejuvenated, that you have more energy and stuff, that's impressive, yeah. man, because uh, I, don't I don't think there's been enough that. time for everyone to recharge. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm well, still in I, charge. I, I was saying this before we, we started recording, but I just got thrown into it because of CES. I didn't have the, the option to not be refreshed. Like, right. I hit Monday. I was like, okay. Everything's going to start this week. I don't even get to like kind of creep into it. It's just back to it. So I'm, it's okay, I'm man. making it's do. The grind. <laughs> make, make, make and do. It's the grind. Make and do. <laughs> it, um, not but easier. it's not easy. When what's you have that? Whole, it's not easy when you have the whole week off. No. I'm still, <laughs> I'm, I'm dreading Monday because I know I have to go back. Yeah. 100 percent and i don't yeah yeah like my my wife just went back on on tuesday like a lot of people did whether it's school whether it's work whatever and you know every day that got closer it's like oh it's just like it feels worse and worse and worse and worse. i know it's something like like you're it's you know you complain about time off but also it's like you hit that recharge it takes so much time 2022 i think was there was a lot going on in a lot of different ways for people and those last couple months like we talked about were really Mm -hmm. busy um in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people and it's just like I don't know. It's it's like a weekend needs to be five days and uh, a vacation needs to be three weeks. Otherwise, like, are you really going to actually recharge? I don't know. Who knows? Agreed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so as we uh, as we say goodbye to 2022 and hi to the new year, um, we're going to talk about what we've been playing over the last couple of weeks since we last talked to you. And we're going to list a couple of games that we're uh, really looking forward to for the year ahead. So um steve you have been busy man you oh recharge God. but you have been busy i want to start with you because you have a huge list here sure um or at least bigger than me and bobby have uh <laughs> what have you been playing where do you want to start um well so so the list i even wrote down isn't all of it to be totally honest and transparent <laughs> with you guys um but i went through and went impressive. through like very impressive uh, <laughs> a hit list Pretty of good. just like games that were on my backlog that felt obtainable and that i could reach completion within like two weeks and everything sure. um two of which were really on my list because of because of you dave uh one being high on life oh, we, i'm sorry <laughs> no no please uh, it, it was it was great because uh the i think it was the last episode we even recorded of 2022 you were talking about your uh, you were reviewing high on life um from justin roiland and uh, during the, the, that whole thing i was like i have it installed i just haven't pressed play on it yet and i really right. want to, and going through it I'll, I'll keep it brief but like i echo most of the things you said about the game i think um the the action of the of the game and like comboing with the the different guns and everything i think it's great i think the, like the the gameplay of the game fantastic yeah. uh the, the personalities of all the different weapons awesome stuff i think yeah, if yeah. anyone that knows justin roiland and his comedy and his writing style will definitely um mesh well with it i just think that it's outside of all of that the the side characters are devoid of like really any real personality um which yeah is i got, I got really thing. exhausted coming home Without spoiling yes. anything, the two yeah. characters that are there at home, I was like, "Are, are we okay? I, I get it." And one's, I, the, one's the brash, angry uncle yep. sort of thing, and the other one's the 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 high sister that talks in a really high pitched voice and is complaining about. It. I'm just like, "I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I want to move on. I want to move yeah. on." Anyways, and, and I think there were. I think maybe two or three specific moments where you're just locked in on a conversation between yeah. those two and it goes on for at least 10 minutes. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I, I don't care about any of this, but minor gripes aside, I think it's a really fun game. Xbox game pass. I think it was a great get for Microsoft yeah. to have around that holiday period. Cause it definitely sat- satiated me during that time. I was like, Oh, this is perfect. I was laughing. I was having a, a ton of fun with the game. Uh, I, I want more. To be honest, I would love for uh, Squatch Gates to go back and, and kind of. I'd, I'd play more this. of it. I'd yeah. play more of it because it because it was fun to play. Like you said, yeah. I think the standout really is just how fun it can be in those moments, and yeah. uh, and I'm good with that. They can come up with some more wacky combinations of weapons and 
that's fine. Make them ridiculous. That's what the game's about. And that's totally cool with me. So. Exactly. And the other yeah. thing I want to touch on before moving on from it, the ads that play on the television, oh, incredible. Yeah. Some yeah. of the like the, the yeah. funniest laugh out loud moments. It reminds <laughs> me of the, the Rick and Morty where they watch like the alternate uh, television ap- episodes, that stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah, I think that was just worth just putting down the controller and watching a ton of them just over and over. I was like, oh, yeah. hell yes. Um, two, I'm just going to briefly touch on. Um, Hello Neighbor 2. An awful buggy game, but oh. uh, I I I enjoyed it for what it was. But I cannot deny the fact that this game just felt cobbled together. Um, mm. Especially for me, an achievement person, going through and getting the achievements um, and completing the game uh, was all just luck versus like any <laughs> kind of technical skill or prowess, like with the stealth based uh, mechanics and puzzle solving in this game. It just felt like oh, whether or not the AI was going to be alerted to my presence or just be a total idiot and just face a corner the entire time. It could go 50, 50. It really, interesting. it really felt like uh, the game uh, suffered a lot of just integral, like AI components where, it, yeah, it was just lasting me about two hours, an entire playthrough. Thank God, because it didn't over. Really? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I did want to give it a fair shot because it did come out this year. And again, yeah. an Xbox game pass game. So I was like, okay, I'll put in a little bit of time, but thankfully, um, yeah, it wasn't much longer. Because it I was over with quicker than your adventure through Peppa Pig. That was it. <laughs> yeah, speed run, speed, speed run central over here with Peppa Pig and Hello Neighbor too. Um, and then, and then I'm going to kind of like sandwich this whole thing with uh, uh, New Tales of the Borderlands, uh, another game that I ha- was on my. I, my radar and i had it installed for for months on on end at this point i just didn't get around to playing it and throughout that entire period i was like man i just completely forgot this game even came out last year because i saw zero people talk about it and then i started it and i said oh i get it now i get why no one's talking about this game oh really oh no it is probably my biggest disappointment of 2022 oh, and no. that's largely because i adore uh telltales tales of the borderlands that's uh, such think, a great game that's i think so that's good. probably like one of my favorite even borderlands <laughs> property and telltale like it's up there in the telltale uh, it is it's one of the it me. was definitely one of their better ones which i never expected from no. a borderlands property yeah. for no. sure yeah. and it was such a such a standout for borderlands and that and that yeah. franchise i i actually began to like feel for the universe and the characters in there mm-hmm. uh this this is a prime example of you cannot just rely on an IP. You need that writing staff behind it because you can tell they were like, let's chase everything that the first tales uh, from the Borderlands had and let's try to just double down on it and nothing mm. worked. Whether it was the ah. characters, the humor, the gameplay, everything was just yeah, devoid of I've that heard. telltale personality. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you like one endearing thing about any of the characters the gameplay oh. was so lackluster it just didn't have that oh. telltale feel to it and ouch <laughs> and this was a game that went on too long as well where mm. i was like man this could we could have shaved off at least four hours and maybe i would be a little four more lenient. hours man. yeah there's 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 an entire act that i was like i just i i obviously want to see it through to the end maybe there is a satisfying conclusion but i just don't care at this point i'm kind of just getting frustrated with the characters and their motivations and everything about this game uh but i did want to give it a fair shot again but yeah it's just really disappointing it made me feel like man i really miss telltale mm. the, the core team that made you know the tales uh game the batman the walking dead everyone that went and was involved in those games you didn't feel it here so i i understand fully why this game came and no one talked about it because interesting yeah it, bobby you're, just, you're shaking and nodding your head did you play it too nope but i've i you know i mean i was like i've Tale from the Borderlands is one of the best games that Telltale launched, right? So, yeah, I was cautiously checking on every every month whenever we heard something, but then you know reviews dropped and it sunk to the back of my backlog. Now I don't even care to play it, to be honest with you, but I probably have to just to say I played it. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I, I've read <laughs> it. <but seen. laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just I don't know. I'm turned off by it because you know I, they're they're definitely. Um, they're, they're, they're pulling on nostalgia for that series, and we all know yeah. that it's long and gone. And um, Borderlands, I don't know. It just feels like a shot of itself. It, it hasn't been fun for me for at least a decade now. No. didn't like Borderlands 3. I didn't like uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands too much. Mm. They're very iterative. Like They don't really do anything different. And 
this seems to be. I, that, I really wanted to play right? Tiny Tina because I love that character. I always found yeah, her. She was great, but her time in two was my favorite, and her Damn. DLC in two was I just she's so <laughs> funny. Um, and I just love the whole like I'm not a D and D person, but I do appreciate that they tried to do something different with the yeah. setting and everything. Yeah, um, for sure. But again, I think like you're like you're alluding to Bobby, like you said, like it's still not different enough. It's still what you've played in the other three games or five games at this point, whatever it's been. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's hard to, to replicate the, the success of borderlands too, because that game was so yeah. damn good. It was, it was just masterful. It was perfect. Yeah. Almost. It was almost yeah. perfect game. And like, I've played it a dozen times since then, but yeah. Yeah. Borderlands. Yeah, I think three, I played through I played that multiple times. Like, yeah, even borderlands. Like, yeah. Borderlands. I mean, I even three, I played it once. I dropped it and touched the DLC. No tiny teen. I couldn't even finish it. I mean, I, I finished, mm-hmm. oh, I shouldn't say finish. I played it once. Got to the end and then I just kind of let it go. I just didn't bother going back to it. Sure. I know there's so much you can do, right? But yeah, I yeah. used to like building classes with all the characters, and that seems to be just like it just seems to, yeah, it's too much busy work now. It's just like I want to see the series evolve to a point where it's on the level of like Destiny's Gunplay. Like, I love Destiny's Gunplay. Yeah. If it had something like that, oh, I, I would be there every day playing it, but they don't have that. They just have the humor but even that it's kind of dated at this point hit and like, miss yeah yeah, yeah. that's very it, it was even at the time but it was also one of the only games doing it so in a way it right. stood out like that especially one and two like it definitely felt fresh at that time but by the time the sequels came out and three and the dlcs and stuff it's like okay we've seen this now for yeah. whatever Three's at that point probably seven thing, years yeah, the biggest thing was just like the climbing mechanics i think that's the or the sliding and oh yeah yeah i think those are the biggest additions and like really that took them eight nine years to get those into the system <laughs> <laughs> and like and like there's just like all these little small things like they they never figured out the inventory system like it was just such a that's true it was always it was a burning messy. system yeah. like you couldn't even bring everything with you you'd have to like go back home i hate that stuff like it's just dated it's all data mechanics well and hopefully whatever it is is like they they st- they see that in all these other games is i hope so because yeah, yeah is the latest tales one is it episodic like the other one it's no episodic but it's it's all it's a, packaged together okay uh there are different like chapters and it yeah. works very much in 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 uh relation to like a telltale game but um yeah no, okay. yeah no i was curious if it's like yeah i was curious if like you get like the first episode and it's like oh that'll come to game pass or it'll be a free weekend or something and i would try yeah. it but it's yeah no nah. okay. Now it's all bundled together. All right. Well, we've 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 uh, we've hit hit the hit the bottom in the last couple of games, Steve. Anything yeah. else? Anything that's going to save us now? Yes. One uh, again, we're going to go throw back to a game that you reviewed for Console Creatures, and one that you put on my radar actually because I had never heard about it really uh, until you talked about it and gave it quite a lot of praise. But it's uh, Beacon Pines. <laughs> An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Um, Mm -hmm. And I adore this game. I, again, going back to everything you talked about a couple episodes, three, four episodes ago. Yeah, it was roughly a month ago that I played it at least, maybe a month and a half. Yeah, I would say so. Um, Yeah, it's, it, it sets it up as this like cool fairy tale book uh that you're kind of like being uh it's narrating to you you have like this uh this off-screen uh you know woman kind of like reading the story out to you as as if it's like a bedtime story or something like that and it's very endearing voice and everything very well presented yeah and then it starts to get like a little dark and you're like oh there's like some mystery here uh the characters are swearing like it's it's for like a not a, not an adult audience per se, but like an older audience. I was like, oh, this is really co- like a cool spin on it. And um, but it doesn't what, start what, that way. Like it really no. starts like it's going to be this f- quiet, family friendly. Yeah. And not that it's not super family friendly, but you're definitely not going to read through this and yeah. and play this game right with an eight year old. Like I I thought it started as sure. Um. So for for better or for worse, that's that the game definitely changes its tone. It, it definitely does, and I think it, that that's why it spoke to me because the art direction is so wholesome. It's almost like yeah. uh, 
you know, like Snow White ask with the with the little forest you know critters. What, you know what I kept like thinking that? of? It looks like like the old Winnie the Pooh books. That's what it yes, looks like to me. Yes, it's very the, uh, where very like hand fades drawn out. And- yeah, it fades out fades in the out. corners and stuff like that. Yep. Um, and, I, and I just like the the direction it took, where you're not necessarily like making choices, but the the words that you pick as, as the narration goes on it changes the story. So mm-hmm. it is kind of like choose your own adventure in, in a small kind of way, but like you're experiencing the story repeatedly by changing these different words and those words inflect the action that follows them and then completely changes like what happened. It's, it's kind of like a brilliant mechanic with that kind of like, yeah. uh, you know, uh, branches off, like quite literally in literally the game, branches, like a, yeah. <laughs> a, a tree uh, that they go through and they're like, okay, well you, you've uh, exhausted all your options over here. Let's go back to chapter two or whatever and use a different word see what that does you'll gain different words you can bring it back to point a uh and try it there and it's kind it's kind of brilliant to to kind of go through uh again a a very short game and this is kind of what my holiday period was was just go through all these uh great uh shorter indie games uh for the most part uh but yeah beacon pines is definitely a must play out of all all the ones I had talked about, I think, is the, the standout for me just because of the art direction and the direction it chose and like its its gameplay and, and narrative. I, I loved it. Yeah, I I think I wrote in the review and I and I stand by this. Like I think about it a lot. Is like it's like the narration, the way it's written, and the way it is acted, like the way it's it's read, is just I've ne- I've I honestly have never had a game have a narration like that. Like I, I don't know that I can recall. Like there's you know, there's always dialogue choices in games. There's always sure. discussion. There's voice acting, but something about the way that this that this lady reads this. I, I should have the name in front of me, and I don't. Yeah. But it is absolutely excellent, and it fits the tone. Like she changes the way she reads it. She it fits the tone at the beginning, where it's very cozy and quiet, and then she is very very good at ramping up uh, the personality and the tone and everything as the story also does that, and it doesn't feel like what you're looking at fits the tone, but then the way that it's read and the way that the writing is also like, it's just, I don't know. The feeling of this game is excellent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, her name is, uh, Kirsten Mize or Mies. Uh, oh, yeah. But yes, yeah, yes, she yes. she did a phenomenal job. Like the, yeah. the, the way was my favorite part. Reflections the and yeah. the way that she read the story. Definitely. Like, yeah, you could see see a, uh, a point in time where like you could just be like curled up in a bed, just like getting read the story at, at some point in your life. And it's like they, they did a really cool job with this game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great game. It looks awesome, too. Yeah. Like you said, um, I think that's a really big high point. It's, it's easy to skim over it, too, I think, because of potentially the way that it looks. I don't know. If I that's, think so. Yeah, so I I don't know. I think I just like I just installed it and clicked on it one day when I was yeah. when I was uh, sifting through Game Pass. It wasn't like oh I need to play this because I've been waiting for him. Whatever. I it was great. Yeah, I I think part of it is that just based on like the cover art itself, it reminds me so much of Night in the Woods, and that oh, yeah. part of my brain was like yeah. I've already played this game because right it looks so similar but uh, of course very different games but uh, yeah yeah but like the animals are the main characters and yeah stuff. part of me was There's like three or four characters standing in in a group like exactly that. Yeah, yeah 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 I know woods exactly pine stuff yeah, yeah I was like oh maybe I've already played <laughs> this game of I don't wood know. and pine yeah. and yeah <laughs> same game obviously you know, birch oak yeah it's all the same <laughs> yeah all right nice yeah. uh, I'm glad you played that that's awesome it's uh it's a very quiet game for a lot of reasons but I think. Not all the people have been talking about it, but it's uh, yeah. it's definitely one that I hope whether some whether the people buy it or whether it sticks on Game Pass, people just give it a shot. And I, sure. I think once you hit that like one hour mark, one and a half hour mark, uh, things really start. The story really starts to change. Yeah. And um, I was interested before that, but like it goes to other places in a really interesting way yeah. um, and then just keeps going from there. Like it really like really snowballs from there. And it's oh awesome. Oh, my God. Does it ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which I completely like. So much of it is a surprise, but uh, yeah. but it was great. It's a great game. There's definitely um, yeah, word of mouth definitely helped. I mean, yeah, on my backlog, it's on my system ready to play. It's just I need to get to it. And it, yeah. it, it's one of those you could sit down and play in a couple of days. I think if you if you did a couple hours, three sessions. four hours. Yeah, yeah, f- yeah, four four five. I think is what my my play time was yeah. for it. Something like that. It's great, and it is the. Probably the perfect length. Like, you know, it's not too short, not too long. I think it's exactly yeah. where it should be. So it's on. Yeah. My, I got to get to it. I mean, I don't even want to look at my backlog. I know I ignored <laughs> it this, this holiday break, but 
I gotta get to it. I gotta start because there's a lot of games coming out this month that I need to focus on. Yeah. So. And it's a it's a busy that. start to the year, which is <laughs> wild. Never used to be that way. So, Bobby, what did you play though over the last couple of weeks? I, I I just rolled credits on Evil West like maybe an hour ago, just before we started. Oh, oh okay, and, okay, yeah. I mean, short game, twelve hour uh, narrative journey. I would say because it really is like it's pretty cinematic. If you like the Order eighteen eighty six, it feels like a spiritual sequel or successor or like brotherhood mm-hmm. or brother. You want to call it? I mean. It's like the Kingsman and the Statesman in the movies. One's obviously set in the US, one's set in the UK. And it's just like a secret organization that deals with the supernatural in in, in the West. And it's, hmm. you play as like, I don't even know. I don't even know what they're called. I think they're called just agents. They're just agents. Then basically like they're, they're dealing with vampire nests. And uh, I guess they're like, they're called, they're obviously werewolves. But they have like a different name in the game, in this game. But you basically just go, and deal with like a revenge plot that that you that you basically stop at the beginning of the game, and then they attack your 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 base, and then it just it evolves from there. You end up going through some really interesting settings. Like it's not just through the west, you know, like a western setting. It's not just through old western towns and uh, deserts. It's through underground caves and tunnels and underground ancient uh, burial sites. It's really cool, and it, it feels like a God of War clone in that sense. Like it's just very visceral combo based and um upgrade based like there's a lot of weapons you unlock it it really feels like a mishmash of like castlevania god of war god what else can i say uh the obviously like the order 1886 so you've got those three big component games just you know influencing this game and it feels really good to play yeah it, um, it's a good looking game too i didn't really actually take it really it's stunning like it's gorgeous uh yeah. there is just one big issue with it and i know i hate this there's no 60 frames per second whatever is in that game like there is a performance and quality mode but the performance mode is so choppy it hurts your eyes mm. to play it so i mean i got sucked playing with 4k 30 frames and that was a little bit more consistent but i mean i just it's not as much fun when you're playing in 30 frames right when you're trying to do combos and like looking for enemies and it just it really breaks the the, the immersion but it's a really cool game like uh, aside there, there are like a it's not a triple a game it's obviously a, a so you can tell just by the voice acting right because there's <laughs> it's got this it's, it's hard to describe but when you're like when you're hearing them talk in certain situations it's very tinny it sounds like mm. it was recorded somewhere where it was like i don't know like a mono audio it's just really it, it really breaks the experience Interesting. okay yeah you can hear like you can hear some it doesn't situation. fit the environment or whatever it doesn't fit yeah. the anything it, it, clearly it's it's obviously the audio for that scene but like it just it, i don't think it's mixed properly and it just really breaks everything mm. but aside from that like it plays so well it handles well it, it it it's it's a challenging game for for even for me like i i'm pretty confident in my skills with like souls war games but this it challenged me on normal and there are times where you're just overwhelmed with enemies and you're just dealing with like these hordes of uh i guess they're they're called familiars where they're just like um deformed uh humans and stuff and they're just attacking mm-hmm. you in waves and you're just trying to uh, fight them but they just yeah no it, they overrun you like it's hard to keep up with these enemies in these in these games these days because they're just they're i guess they've evolved since i was a kid right i mean <laughs> The AI from like ten years ago, I could I could master, but now God no, I died so many times. <laughs> but yeah, I mean in total, like I I think it's a game I would recommend it. I mean it's a good game to play over three days. I think I started it. Uh, what's today? So Thursday, I started it Tuesday evening after I finished Sonic Frontiers, trying to just platinum that game, and it was pretty straightforward. I mean, there's there's some co-op. I didn't really dive into that, but I mean... Yeah, I saw that there's co-op, yeah. Yeah, I heard, it, I heard it's very bare bones, so that's why I'm not really going to explore that much, but I just did the story ones. I got as many other collectibles as I could, and then I just got out. I, I just... I deleted off the, my console, and now I'm, I think I'm going to jump to high on life after this, because I know you nice. were talking about it, and I know Steve just talked about it. And then I'm just going to try and get through that, and I guess it's going to be Beacon Pines before... <laughs> i guess january 20th when the next just check our lists and then just yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but no overall yeah i mean definitely it's it feels like a 360 ps3 action adventure game it's definitely you know there's no open world you're just going from chapter to chapter you're going through a That's level all right yeah i like that i mean it, it it feels like the old school uncharted games where you're just there's nothing to worry yeah. about you just mm, okay 
Nice. It's fun. It's a fun game. It's I like, miss those too. <laughs> yeah. The the electrical powers are probably my favorite thing. Like it feels like you're playing as the flash at times because as you power up your gauntlet, you're you're like you're like this uh lightning speed fast, like I don't know, I don't even know what to call this guy. Like he's just an agent, but like he has this gauntlet that I don't know how it fits into every the narrative just because it didn't explain it well, but he's got these powers where he's like lightning fast in certain situations. You can overpower the gauntlet to like uh just attack enemies at lightning speed it's cool it just doesn't make sense to me but it looks cool too even on screenshots honestly <laughs> yeah straight up like the, the cinematics are gorgeous i mean it's really great yeah, it's just that's good it, it i think there are just some cooked elements that need a little bit more time in the oven for me just like the story was cool it was very straightforward but yeah it just it, some of the things didn't make sense to me and i tried to pay attention but there were some things that are just like ah, i don't really care you just so the, you're was, there for the game and to and to kill it's more or less like even when i was trying to pay attention stuff. to the scenes i was just like i don't care like it's straightforward <laughs> i know what's happening it's there's no twist there's no turns it's just like i know what's going to yeah. happen so yeah and then that's yeah, all right I, there's not yeah. a lot of games that are like that right like like you said Untr- i know uncharted has like a longer story and has the sequels and whatever but like just sort of mission to mission area to area go here go here go from a to b that's all this sort was. Of have a, it was perfect. Yeah, have a story that sort of fills in the gaps here and there. And, and that's it. Like, I think we got a lot of that in the 360 era, PS2. Like, that's a lot of PS3. That's a lot of what those games were, sort yeah. of middle mm-hmm. middle range type of games. Not that they were bad. They were a blast. Oh, God, but no, you no, didn't was... necessarily have to have a pen and paper beside you to take notes on what the story was, mm-hmm. right? So, But yeah, no, definitely if you like The Order 1886, this is the closest you'll get to, like, I cool. would say, a follow-up. Nice. I love that the order eighteen eighty six. I'm really disappointed that Ready or Dawn didn't do a sequel. Yeah, it's a good Sony game. He doesn't want to give them a sequel, and now it's kind of late now that they're owned by Oculus. But I mean, for what it is, play it. It's fun. I, I don't know if it's on the Game Pass. I'm, is it on Game Pass? Because no, I don't even know. No, no, no. Well, I, I was about to buy it, and I was like, I could do that or finish Midnight Suns, and that's right. That's think. that's on my backlog too. I have it on my system. I have it ready. It's on sale right now. I think thirty three percent off this weekend. I, this week. Mm. I just trying to decide what what's next, but I think it has to be a high life because I'm craving some kind of humor. I mean, yeah, this yeah my 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 holiday backlog was a lot of like serious sci fi shows, and now I need something funny. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of yeah. shows and movies to catch up on too. Never mind just games, right? Yeah, it's like that's my biggest thing is just catching up on TV and movies and yeah, gaming kind of took a back seat. I mean, that's kind of thing that happened this year surprisingly because last right. year I did nothing but play games. I literally spent three, four weeks in Final Fantasy fourteen, and then by the time I came out of it, it was like January thirtieth. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. And then yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, I did finish up Sonic Frontiers. I already talked about this. I I reviewed it, but like I was just trying to go yeah. back and get platinum. But I noticed that it's very did you. Disaster. No, I couldn't. I tried. Okay. I, I tried my hardest. It's fun, <laughs> Steve. Uh, it's so tedious. I'll race it, you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's hard. Yeah, it's a hard game to. Game. Once you finish it, there's literally nothing to do. You can go get. Obviously, you can finish more like the puzzles in the game were are cool, yeah. but the cyber levels, like there are some ones where you have to get under a certain time limit, and those ones just rocked me. I couldn't get to them. Some some of them, so I was just like, "Well, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I don't want to deal with it." I beat the game. I got the story, and now it's just I'm done. I, I retired. Yeah, it. I deleted it off my. Everything console. else is just filler. It's just it's just too. Yeah, much. it's just filler. Like yeah. it, it is a great game. I think I finished it at sixty hours, which is insane for a Sonic wow. game. Yeah, yeah. But, wow. But yeah, it was just me. I don't know to... if I've ever played one Sonic game for more than six hours. That's the thing. <laughs> I literally played one really? Sonic game more than the last four in the last decade. So that tells sure. you. Sure. Yeah. Like, it is. A, it is good. It is. A departure for Sonic, it I think it is a good direction, and they have something cool. They just need to cut yeah. some things out and f- fine tune it. I mean, I I ended the game with over hundred skill points, and you end you pretty much getting all your skills within the next within the first ten hours. So you end up banking all these skill points to do nothing, and they're like mm. they could like you know retune that for the future like put that into your speed or your your defense or your 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 attack because you're you're obviously leveling up your all these stats throughout the game but those you don't max those out by the time you're done like i still finished i finished with like yeah six, which 60s is, yeah which i should have been able to I, like for me i should have just i was thinking like just give it a way to combine all the systems at the end of the game but other than that it's fun it's a great sonic game the only thing, and the other thing that throws me off now is I'm so used to Ben Schwartz as Sonic, I kind of want to see him in a game. I think <laughs> yeah, he is the right? fan of Sonic for me. And like, I love Roger Craig Smith as Sonic, but 
I want a Ben Schwartz Sonic game. I want to just Dude, give him... those movies are are way better than yeah. they have any right to. Exactly. They are Honestly. so good, yes. and and the whole They're cast so like good. they they nailed yeah. Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Like Idris Elba as Sonic is or as Knuckles is, is great. I think they yeah. should give them a chance to do their own game. Yeah, that would be cool. Or do like a Sonic Generations two with Sonic Prime, which is Roger, and then give Sonic the movie team you know their own platform system they just can like their own version sure. of the like two even teams. if it's just him even if it's just him you know and they don't I, have i would love a ton of the like side ben characters. schwartz yeah. ben schwartz is definitive sonic for me like he's so good at sonic i love yeah. what he's done with it and i would he's love great. to see him either in his own show or game or whatever but just give him yeah. something to do with that character because he's so good yeah yeah and it's just sure. yeah it's, it's weird hearing roger back again because like i know there was like a whole thing where they, they, they let him go and then he came back and I was kind of hoping if they're going to let him go, it would be Roy Ben, but whatever. That, that's Maybe all, they're working that's the on Sonic it. Maybe they're working on thing, it. And we don't want to yeah. get into that. We don't want to get <laughs> nuts. <Nadia, laughs> yeah. They're nuts. They're actually crazy no. people. I, I, I'll, I'll dive into something similar because I want to talk about, this is actually something I, oh, I I forgot to talk about or I forgot to put a note down on what I wanted to talk about because I've been playing through Miles Morales or yeah. I just rolled the story credits on it. But yeah. similarly, they went back and they changed the actor oh right who did yeah, spider-man that, in the original that, game that was, and in Miles a, i know it's like. it's a whole messy situation i don't even remember what the whole story is and i completely forgot about it until i until i booted up the game and i played it and i'm like oh oh this is weird even though i haven't yeah. seen this in three years this felt yeah. weird it, it's not that he does a bad job it's not no. any of that kind of stuff but i was like oh it's just I, grading that's how, yeah, like, that's what no, it is because it's, it's just it's such a putting. sudden because yeah, yeah, the, the original the original voice like not voice the voice it was great and actor. Uh, it was his face yeah, the, too, voice, the yeah. face. Sorry, the face. The face was way better. I don't know why they changed it. They I they said it's to match the performance. Matches, but, yeah, his performance and emotions, which but I don't really the, get. I don't. I don't. Get I, that. I played the game three times. I've seen it both endings with both characters. The original face is a hundred times better. It conveys Agreed. the emotion, and he looks older. Like this guy looks like he does look older. Yes, yeah, looks, yeah this, or this, did look this, older. Did look yeah, older. He yeah, did. he doesn't look like a mentor. Like a, yeah, he looks like a Tom Holland, like like a ripoff. Yeah, <laughs> Tom Holland, <laughs> cheap Holland, <laughs> cheap Holland. Holland. Yeah. That's his name now. <laughs> and and again, his performance isn't bad at all. And no, in Miles know. Morales here, specifically, here he yeah. he's really in it for you know maybe he has. 20 minutes of dialogue at the most in the whole game. It's fine. It's fine. Right. And you really only see that guy's face, I think at the beginning and then at the end. Right. And then in between, he's not there. That's part of the point of the story. Anyways, mm-hmm. I, I I thought I would mention that because I completely forgot. And I'm like, wow, this is grading, even it's though it's playing. been three years since I played these games. Um, I hadn't played Miles Morales before this. I got on the PS5 on sale um, as I was still playing God of War. And I was like, I know I'm going to play this game. I'm, I I loved the first one. Uh, one of the few games that I played fl- got platinum on. And I know this is a smaller experience and shorter. So I'm like, I'm down for it. It's a good holiday game. Takes oh. place during the Christmas holidays. Game. I was going to say, it literally is a holiday game. Yeah, <laughs> yep, which I for- which I completely forgot about too. So <laughs> it's it's the better Spider-Man. It is the definitive Spider-Man game right now. Like there is I, 100% I think, no competition. Yeah, I, I think now that um, I'm playing this and I'm also playing Horizon Forbidden West, which we'll talk about in a second. The, the size of this game, I think, is preferable. Maybe mm-hmm. a little bit longer the story, maybe, yeah. but all the, like the added stuff to it, there's just enough there. You know, it's still very open world. It's still very similar to the to the original one. Um, <laughs> I don't think the gameplay is drastically different from what I remember. It feels very similar. I know the controls are pretty much exactly the same, which is great. Don't don't uh, change anything. That still works. Um, Miles Miles is a great character. You know, the, oh the story where it goes with his mom and his friends and. And the tinkerer and all that it's it's all really really fun i had a great time with this game um i may go back and sort of pick at some of the the added stuff that i didn't finish but i tried to do a lot of the side the larger side missions along the way i don't know if i'm going to go back and do all the really small stuff like i did with the first one i just don't have time and have other games that we're going to get to and stuff but miles morales if anyone hasn't played it yet fantastic um, I got it for like 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. What I was a like, steal. Yeah. What it's an absolute a, steal. For yeah. That it's game. a given. It was a given. Yeah. And I knew I really wanted to play it. And now that it's on PS5 and on PC, is it on PC yet or soon? Yeah. It's on PC. Yeah. yeah. T- totally worth every penny regardless. So, um, and then I also got a sale uh, price on uh, Horizon Forbidden West, which mm. I really, really liked the first one. Uh, that's another game that I even played the DLC for and really enjoyed. I just love the world. 
that, yeah. that they've created with Horizon. It is so unique. And that's what I love about it the most. It's just like everything looks cool. Everything's so intricate. Um, just the whole machines or animals type of thing and just all the history around it. They literally like built a universe and that is amazing. And I love that part of it. Yep. Um, so I'm, I'm only a few hours in. Um, I'm very, very early. Hasn't really opened up a ton yet. I'm really in like one region and that's it. So things sure. will, I know that there's like one particular ability or item that I'm going to get that is going to literally fly me around. And I haven't done any of that stuff yet. I know that's there. But uh, early on, it's been fun. It feels very the same so far, but I also don't have all this added stuff to it yet. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I do really like, though, I from what I remember, there isn't a lot of like you can climb anywhere in the first one, whereas it feels already with this one, almost any rock surface or whatever, not all of them, but almost any, you can pretty much climb almost anywhere, very similar to the Breath of the Wild type of idea. Um, it's yeah. not quite to that extent because literally not every surface you can grab right. onto, but it's close. And I was like, wow, this game is huge already. That um, that, that grapple system definitely added a lot of yeah. Like, yeah, dynamic, uh, di- dynamicy to to the like the exploration of being mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, I can viably, you know, go up this mountainside or, yeah. or this building and not have to feel like, you know, you're doing the Assassin's Creed thing of just like, you know, grabbing brick by brick. Grabbing and, onto any like whatever. Exactly, yeah. But even yeah. even just like seeing like a cliff surface and then hitting your focus and it sort of shows you some of the yellow lines. I'm like, oh, right. yeah, I can right. climb that. That's crazy. Yeah. It doesn't it literally look just looks like a placeholder. And then I'm climbing up this giant cliff and right. I'm like, this is awesome. And then I find something up there. So they really really opened it up even in this one area or two areas that I've been in since the game started. Um, yeah. The only thing that I'm having trouble with, and it's not gameplay related, maybe it's just the screen I have it hooked up to right now. Maybe mm-hmm. it is something about, the, I don't know if there, I can't even remember what, what the settings were with like performance or not performance mode or whatever. Um, they fix a lot of that. So, I mean. Yeah, it feels yeah. like there's, it almost feels like my eyes are trying to adjust a lot of the time because there's yeah. too much going on in the screen. So I will stay, I'll, I'll just be standing there or I'll be climbing those cliffs and there's like too many particles jumping around on the screen oh, where I there's see. too much yeah. blur or something. And I almost feel like, like I was sitting back on the couch and I'm like, I need to sit closer because I'm having a hard time focusing on what's going on around Aloy rather than, you know, just her. And it, and it helped, but I'm like, I got to play with around with the settings more. Maybe I got to change like motion blur or something like that. Um, oh, but there was some stuff and, and it hasn't been a problem with me in any other game. I mean, Miles Morales is a perfect example. You're zipping around much faster than you are in a game like this. And I had zero issue with it the entire way through. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's it's something go else that's changed. Or maybe I'm just an old fart and that's just how things are now. Um, there is a lot of like layering textures in horizon mm-hmm. that that even i haven't play, picked it up in, in quite some time but just like closing my eyes and i can just vividly remember like you have aloy you have all the like particles on particles on particles on particles yeah, and yeah. then you have the foreground the background and like it's a lot to to definitely process but i think that for me at least just added to like the the magic of that game where i felt yeah. like this is a game is a spectacular game because of all those different yes. layers that it's very impressive of, like a lived in world versus yeah, yeah. just here's the sky yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's it's no, very I, it all looks really great it doesn't feel like you know these particles are flying across the screen and i'm like oh that just looks like a square floating by right like it, yeah no it's it's all very detailed it looks fantastic it runs obviously great um and it's and it's been fun so far it's real that is literally the only thing that has stopped me from from turning on my ps5 to play that game in the last day and a half is because i'm like i don't I don't feel like going through the settings right now. I'm just going to play something else, which I'll talk about next week that yeah. I put a few hours into over the last couple of days. But um, uh, yeah, Horizon Forbidden West, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to plug away. And, and I just, I love this world and I love the way it plays. So, yeah, and, I, yeah, I can't wait to touch base. Hopefully next week when you put it in, like even just like a t- the tiniest bit amount yeah. more well, time into be a few hours at least because yeah. right now I think like e- even going back to when I played, it, I was like, okay, I-, I felt very similar to how you were, where you're in that first, uh, I would even call it like a tutorial uh, area where it's just getting you back, like back into the groove and everything. I was like, I'm really enjoying mm. this. It only took me if I had to guess going back to it, like maybe five, six hours until the shoe drops and you're like oh this is what this game is about 
I think that's pretty much where I where I have I've stopped so far. Yeah. Where I've oh, done my that's save amazing. is okay. because I was like, oh, I I know I've done the the like let's say handful of missions that led yeah. me up to this point. I know that they're building to that. I can already tell just by the way that they're talking and just by what I've done and set up the pieces that add to it. And I just have not, I haven't, I haven't um, talked to the person that will complete those missions that will lead to that next larger point. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so that's I'm sitting the in next the, thing. You have like yeah, yeah, the have next thing the that I'm going to thing do. Yeah. In front of you, like you've literally just even. I, because it compared to anything, it's like the opening segment of Breath of the Wild where you haven't even left like right. the open towers. Yes. You have a lot kind, to do. kind of that where oh, I, I the, the game sets up this like entire yeah. this entire story and you're like, cool, this is gonna be my 40 hour adventure with Aloy. And then within like I would say seven to ten hours in there, they're like, actually, psych, we got you. It's actually about this. And you're like, what the fuck? Yep, right. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm way into this. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's a huge turn, but oh my god, is it is it ever it cool? lands. Like, it does, they do a good yeah. job with it. Yeah, they do yeah, a really yeah. cool job. And for well, someone and like you a... that are that's already like, oh, I'm invested yeah. in this universe. I love it. Yeah. Oh, just wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, that's They're the main reason moment. why I wanted to play this game is because I just love the world that they've created around it. Um, yeah. Not that it's not fun to play, because like I said, it's 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 great. But so far, like you guys are explaining the story, it's fine. It's good and everything, mm -hmm. but it but it's not doing anything crazy. And the gameplay is very <laughs> similar so far, which is which is good because I need those several hours to kind of get back into it. Exactly. It's what God of War Ragnarok did at the beginning. Like it was the same yes, thing. Yes, yes. Actually, just, not far off. Not far yeah, off. And it just like, yeah, it, yep, took is, it, it took which off. Which is it's exactly easy. what I said, I think, the first time I talked about it too. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I'm just that guy. So anyways, I'll continue playing that. And then I have another game that I started, but I, I'm, I'm early into it. And I'll, I'll save that for next week when I have more to share about it. So, um, okay. So that is our uh, what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. And really quickly, I thought that we could name a couple of games each or even one or whatever that we're really looking forward to in 2023. Um, for, and for, just, just say something first. Yeah. Yes. How dare you just say one or two games? Because this is a very. <laughs> oh, big my God. Game. It's going to be so hard. Yeah. I'm just looking at the yeah. list of games out in the next three months and I'm I want to play every <laughs> single one of them. I don't want to work the next three months and I just want to hunker down and. Play how games. dare i how yeah. dare you just say one or what a two jerk you're one of those fanboys that just don't appreciate games okay art you don't appreciate art yeah, you're not an yeah. art, you're not art for what it is and what it's supposed to be yeah. <laughs> okay bobby let's start with your uh number 15 and we'll go down from there <laughs> i could actually start at like maybe 40 so let's yeah, start right? with yeah no 40. i mean you know what this past year was awesome and i think the, the upcoming year like this year yeah. seems like it's going to be great as well so um yeah so bobby whatever whatever you want to go with let's uh i don't know if you have a, if, if you have a, a particular off. order or anything well, but whatever there's no do. order it's just you know we'll go by month because this month alone there's sure i count seven games so this month alone everyone who hasn't played persona 3 gets to play it now because it's coming to switch playstation uh, xbox and pc I haven't played any Persona games. How about Me that? Well, this is probably the best one you should play. This is the best one to start with because it's probably got the best story out of the three games. The, that the three, you said, right? Yeah. Hey, Dave, do you have uh, 120 hours you want to invest in this game? Because I yeah, know I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I was just convinced that Horizon should be the one that I do that. So <laughs> You can do both. Facts. No. So I, you got lots of games. You got actually, Persona 3 Portable, which is on January yeah. 19th. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Persona 4 Golden is already out on PC, but it's coming to consoles. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage, which previews dropped today, it looks like it's a lot different from Three Houses, and I love Three Houses. Um, for Spoken's out this month, uh, Dead Space, which I know we're all excited for, and that's probably the biggest game that I'm excited for this month. Yeah, yeah, it looks so cool. I'm, I have Callisto Protocol on my on my Xbox. I'm I don't know if I should play it now or just just skip it for now and then play <laughs> Dead Space. That's my that's my plan. I I am in the exact same position as you. Have it downloaded and everything, but I'm like I would rather play Dead Space first. I know they dropped it so close and like yep. really. I don't know. If, I think this hurt. Like honestly, I think the 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 game itself, the brand, kind of damaged itself. And I'm not talking about like the bugs and all that stuff. It's just it launched way too close to the game we're all we all really actually want is Dead Space remake, right? So yeah, that's that's my gen my January and then February. I'm not even gonna get involved that with that yet. Once we'll, we'll circle back to that. But those are the biggest games right now that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Steve, what about you, man? Anything well, are we just I, going I, for I, January or are we just no, talking like the year? For me, 
for me, I honestly, I set a couple of games because I literally have two games that I think will occupy at least the first half of the year for me, or at least I hope. Okay. Uh, I, I can go through them quickly if you want. That's easier. No, no, no. Right. I, like, I, I, I'm cool to go through because, um, yeah, because I, I definitely have a couple that I, I want to touch on um, mm-hmm. that, that are above the rest. Um, yeah. First is going to be PSVR 2. I, I think oh, yeah. I'm going to spend right. the time. I want 100%. That. 100% I'm with you. I want it right now. Yeah. I, uh, I the more it. I hear about it, uh, you know, at CES, uh, we're recording this on the 5th. So uh, Sony just had their their keynote the other day and they talked about Gran Turismo day one uh, for PSVR 2. That's awesome. Uh, Beat Saber was also confirmed to be a PSVR uh, 2 game, whether or not it's I, I want to play that upgrade, game so bad. Oh, my God. It's so much fun. Um, it's great. It's, it's incredible. And then, of course, we're talking about Horizon uh, Call yes. of the Mountain. Those yeah. three games alone are going to occupy this like the february window so much with so much uh content I, i'm way too excited for that um yeah. and then i'm going to kind of cheat here uh and put two games together and this is going to be uh what i'm going to call my dungeon crawling uh bullshit of 2023 it's diablo 4 followed quickly by Baldur's gate 3 and oh, if yeah, you yeah, think yeah. any other game is going to consume my life as much as these two games are this year you are laughing son because <laughs> even starfield as much as i'm en- going to enjoy starfield as much as i'm looking forward to zelda as much as i'm looking forward to all these games diablo 4 and Baldur's gate 3 are going to suck the soul out of my body and eviscerate me i know it i just know it and yeah. i i the fact that they're coming out in june and then august scares the ever loving shit out of me but i'm here for it dave yeah, make like sure good, you clip goodbye that, right? summer you know make sure you clip what steve just said he wants to get his soul sucked so oh just suck my soul <laughs> just suck my soul right now blizzard and, <laughs> and, and, and Baldur's game. Just, yeah <laughs> no it's honestly like diablo 4 is like is no, that incredible. game for me too. i mean it look yeah it looks great everything we hear is that it's made really great changes yeah. There's, there was you know hands-on previews with it about a month or so ago uh and you know all the changes sound great even in, in small doses like all that stuff is awesome um i you know <laughs> Des- <laughs> destiny 2 uh diablo 2 is one of my most played games oh, ever yeah. yep. um, and has such a special place in gaming for me um but uh this one could be that even even more so like it really could i yeah. thought three was going to be it and it was for eight months or sure. something yeah um and just a little bit after they closed the auction house sort of thing but if, for whatever reason just lot lots of other stuff to play around that time so um yeah so diablo 4 is definitely one of the games i was going to mention I, I, it's hard not to regardless um my early in the year game uh for sure even before that is uh uh star wars jedi survivor that's going oh, to nice. be yeah. that's definitely going to be high yeah. high on my that list and really I must good. must play um just love that first game uh so much yeah, and yeah. you know it's I I love the different stories even though yes it's still force and yes uh you know certain characters pop up during that story that are connected to other stories that we've seen for the last 50 years but just it's still a different set of characters during a time that we sort of only know through other eyes in the universe. And I just, I, I just, I really like what they did with it. And I love the story and uh, the gameplay was awesome. Like it was just awesome. And I'm excited to see, even if it's sort of the same, but I'm so excited to see what they do with it and excited to see what places they take us, like literally what planets and yeah. what scenarios and how yeah. close Fair. we get to the story that we actually know from the movies and from the TV shows. Um, because I think there's going to be some a decent amount of crossover in this one. Um, I don't know if they've said anything, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know that they've said that they're going to make a third or if there was ever planned to be a sequel or if no it's just idea. like see how things yeah, go. They haven't said but, yet. Yeah, but this could very well be like the end of this character and the end of this storyline. And at the end of that, I would, would not be surprised if we're going to get some, you know, cameos, so to speak. And sure. I'm okay yeah. with that because the rest of it is not really about that. And the story is great. And the gameplay along the way is, is awesome too. They so. can always make a show out of it. Like they have like That's everything true. they need, right? Yep. Like they have, they have the actual the same actors, characters. Right like yep. they, they, you know, the likeness is there. Yeah. I would watch it, but me too. Yeah. I think that'd be great direction if yeah like him game. as a character he's not like drastically like the most interesting but it's everyone around him and what's happening around him i think is what i really yeah. enjoy yeah like him um, and this like crew 
that yeah. you know that you, you yeah, yeah. formed it in the first one. I think was really interesting. I'm really excited to see uh, if they can top the the climax moment mm. of yeah. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. That was a great idea. Like I was like that was one of the, like the coolest Star Wars it was like Rogue One moment. It was like Rogue One's ending. Oh I was like, God. holy shit, this is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It was it popping off. Great. And- it was so well like like placed and directed and sort of like it was so dynamic and everything. Like yep. not that the rest of the game wasn't, but there was something different about that last hour, half hour and, or whatever. And not to go into like a huge uh, like uh, tangent, uh, side tangent or <laughs> anything, but like the fact that they even referenced Fallen Order in the Obi-Wan show. I thought it was like brilliant. I was like, "Oh my god, they're they're referencing this moment, yeah. showing yeah. like." I was like, "Okay, this is cool." Uh, I don't know if you guys watched Andor at all, but Saul Guerrero is in is yep. in the first yeah. one as well. So like all this stuff is sort of happening at the same time, and it's yeah, it's great. Yeah, it would be cool awesome. to see some crossover. Like it, it's I love it, that that's happening, right? But yeah, that it's a big game. Yeah. I really hope it does well. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, forward yeah. to it. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I think the first one did did gangbusters as well. But if anyone hasn't played it and they want to before March, before this comes out, um, yeah. it's it's on Game Pass and you could probably find it yeah, for a really EA good play, sale right? too. Well, it's, so, it's yeah, like, play, I saw yeah. on sale for two bucks. Like, actually, oh my god, like a month no ago. brainer. <laughs> hey, it's two bucks. Like, it's it's great. It's so good. It's so and much like, fun, and it's actually similar to like what you were saying uh, about. Uh, uh, oh my god, West Western uh, game there that you just played Evil West. Was. Evil West, you you go from play, planet to planet, place to place, and it's still very like somewhat streamlined, even though it does share Metroidvania type stuff. It's definitely and also, got that. Yeah, it's got that yeah. So you could go back and everything, but when you go to those places, it's not like you have an open world. You don't go across the entire planet. It takes no. you to a particular place, and you work your way through it, and you can unlock different areas and stuff. And there's replayability there, and and the battles themselves along the way, I find really fun. Yeah. Are, they are just gotta fix the map. Cause that was that was pretty was, bad. Was, was that was trash. pretty it bad. Was just, yeah. It was so bad. I hated it, and yeah. I hated the ice sliding. Like they, if they get, if I never have to do it again, oh, I'll be happy. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was, yeah. There's all those the sliding down, like, down the, the, like, the yeah the big yeah. I didn't want to play the game anymore just because those those like sections were just so stupid and annoying. And I forgot about that. Wow. The, the rest of the traversal stuff I remember being pretty good, but yeah. um, but yeah, those there was just away from it. Little things, little yeah. things. So, um, and I just want to mention one more that, uh, I don't know if is on anyone else's radar out there at all, but it is even over these two games because the original is one of my favorites of all time, but it is Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. Welcome, welcome. First, we're going to have a little fun tonight, folks. Residents of Kamina have reported strange interruptions in their radio broadcast over the Confirmation of the clouds above Edwards Island. Over. Riley, come in, Riley. Can you hear me? Riley? Riley, are you there? I love that first game. It sunk me into a different place and i just absolutely adored it i played it two three years after it came out and i'm like i, I should go play this i should go play this and i just never did and the day that i did i think i in, in two sessions i played through that whole game and just was so sucked into it i listened to the soundtrack all the time i think the art style is great again acting is incredible and writing is incredible um i was hoping it was going to come out this past year and it didn't so now it's once again on my anticipated list for this year. Um, in the I meantime, they have also been acquired by Netflix, so it's yeah, you know, yeah, that's that's going to be something. I'm not but a day for it, so no, they don't there have is a no date. date. No, yeah, it was 2022, and now it's they got delayed. So, yeah, um, that's okay. So yeah, you know what? There's a lot of great games we'll play this year. So like, it's just like it's a matter of that, when. That that's yeah. the thing is like we're we're even like talking about like you know top top two, top three or whatever. That's just doing a disservice of what I think is going to be one of the strongest years in video games, like period. I think this is, this yeah. is going to be one of those years that we look back on. I can't, I think it's like 2007 when Halo three Bioshock came out like that. That's like a moment in, in, in video game history. This, I think this June, this June alone, like you have Diablo four street fighter six. Yep. Final fantasy 16, which is probably my most anticipated sure. game. And then in July, uh, there's nothing yet. August is um, Baldur's Gate, and then yep. my second most anticipated game is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
which is going to blow again, yeah. record. It's going to break records that game. That game yep. has all the hype. It's one of the most iconic series. There's so much goodwill going into this into into this the sequel. So like I know this mm-hmm. year is going to be big for everybody. It's also the yeah. first year we're going to get a lot more um, PS5 Xbox Series driven games, which I'm right. happy about because like yep. honestly. It's from what, about time. It's time. Yeah. Jim Ryan said. Jim Ryan says the 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 drought for systems is over. He said at CES. So thank you, Jim. Yeah, big thanks, ups to one, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Now, <laughs> just, just, just I mean, I got mine uh, a couple months ago, so it couldn't have been that hard. <laughs> no, it's it's better now. But like, uh, it's just like I'm sick of these cross gen games. I, I don't care for them anymore. They're just they're holding back everything, and like. I'm ready for it. I don't want to. I'm not. I'm. It's not about accessibility. It's not about you know offering the game to everybody it's it's time to put this power to use exactly show us what these consoles can do finally yep and and speaking of that one other game i'd be remiss not to even talk about is marvel spider-man 2 i was just gonna say that i was just gonna say speaking of miles morales like yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) and that's they're not as as such an open window of like just fall whatever the fact that they're so confident to come out like last year like late last year and they're like no it's it's fall i was like okay all right, Five years all right, pretty, Insomniac. Yeah. Uh, they was, never delay their game, so I'm, September I'm, 2018 was when Spider Man launched. It would be five, six years, so six years, I think. No, yeah, yeah, six years. That's a, that's pretty average for a game development these days. So yeah, and for and for a big game. Too. Well, they well they also did Miles Morales and, and they did Miles Ratchet Morales, which was probably being built around the same time. But and then Ratchet Wolverine as well. I'm sure they've got other games that are in the works. Yeah, Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. They just never sleep, so they they definitely want to get this game out so they can work on the other four games they have. I, guess. <laughs> yeah. and I think it's gonna do. It's gonna break records. I think it uh, yeah. might be one of the. It it'll be the be, one of the better reviewed games. I just want to see what they do with Venom. I want to know how because like Venom is such a underrated character in video games. Like you don't see him that often. I think the last time I he was in a game that I liked was Ultimate Spider Man on PS2. Oh yeah, because you game. never played Midnight Suns. Oh, that's true. I have it yet. <laughs> is it is would Midnight Suns be the definitive Marvel game then? Is it still or is it Marvel Spider Man? Oh, it's definitely Miles Morales. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I I was I've seen talk online saying Marvel is Marvel Suns uh, Midnight Suns the better Marvel game. Is it the one that you should tell people to play first? I'm like, no, no, They're completely different games yeah. too. Like you can't really. <sighs> You know, I, I don't know. I mean, like Midnight Suns is interesting to me, but I'm I don't think I'm going to play it. Like, honestly, right. it's, it's not like a you without even thinking. Exactly. It's I not like a ubiquitous it. Marvel game where you can just like grab the controller, pass it to someone and be like, play this game. And I know you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Midnight Suns is more like I got to test out, you know, what what are your interests? And like, will this like align for me, with my, my hesitation is all the stuff around it that seems to be like i i know that i think you talked about it steven a lot of people have is that like um the story and the characters and all the stuff that happens in the hub area whatever yeah. whatever that's called is really great oh, and i am God. not interested in that at all i just want to yeah. play a card turn turn ish based type, like the, the 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 battle system is what i'm interested in um yeah, and i know that enough. some of these guys or at least most of these guys worked on the XCOM games and i freaking mm-hmm. love those games i know it's a different system but if they if their minds are at work here then i want to i want to work with that system and i want to yeah. see what it is with these characters and with you know cards involved or whatever they're supposed to be called in the game uh that's what i'm most interested in but then i hear that it's so long with all this other stuff and you spent a lot of time with it i'm like i know that there's story there but a eh, lot of I, story. i'm fine that XCOM's story in both those games are and and all the dlcs and everything that i played are sort of like, okay, yeah, you're saving the world. And that's kind of the gist of it. I was good with that. I just want to get into the battles. I just want to play. And that's it. So anyways, that's just me. Um, So I I spent about 44 hours with Midnight Suns. And a lot of that is with the social stuff. Yeah, that's not crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways. Maybe oh, one geez, day. Guys, Anyways, Spider-Man 2023. Oh, guys, <laughs> and, and let's 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 bring this up because I know Steve is gonna lose his pants if we don't. Hollow Knight Silk Song needs to launch this year. It it's time. Yeah, Hollow Knight needs to come out. And hey, Xbox said twelve this months this year. I know right. this is one of your biggest games. I I loved Hollow Knight. It's one of the greatest Metroidvania uh, spinoffs that's launched in recent years. I'm looking forward to it. And then 
geez, guys, there's so many games. There's Atomic Heart next month. I'm just looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's I, Creed Mirage, which is finally doing what I'm ho- happy they're doing, is finally going back to the the tenets of the creed. Finally, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big Alan Wake too. Like, there's so many games. Oh my god, year, Alan yes. Wake too. Oh man, uh, just, especially after good? playing um, Control. I just, the, I just the, the most anticipated game of the year, Skull and Bones, the game that people just <laughs> the can't most keep. anticipated game of 2012. Uh, <laughs> oh, Skull and Bones. <laughs> Because my, my most anticipated game was Lies of P because that looks freaking awesome. Oh my god, yes. I was just talking about this game the, the other that. day. I was, yeah. yeah, The Lords I'm, of the I'm Fallen 2. That looks good. Right. Yeah. Lollipop Chainsaw. I love the first one. Oh yeah. I that forgot game. about yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Oct- Octopath Traveler 2. Um, oh yeah, that looks great. My, uh, that Minecraft looks cool. Legends. That like, there's so great. many great games this year that yeah. are coming out and it's just like, yes, I'm ready. Forza as well, apparently. <clears throat> Payday 3. Um... Pikmin Four apparently. Oh, yeah. also the uh, the beta for Hades Two. So. Sea of Stars, <laughs> guys. If you like Chrono Trigger, Sea of Stars is like. Yeah. It looks so similar. It looks amazing. Yeah. I previewed it. it. It looks like a mix of Secret of Evermore, uh, Chrono Trigger. It's like very SNES RPG inspired. It looks amazing. If you like the Messenger, it's in that same world. I love the Messenger. It was a great ninja game. Yeah. Uh, geez, there's so, oh sweet code and like there's so many games that are launching this year. Like, there's oh, another can, Pikmin game. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, played those in a we while. haven't even gotten <laughs> to like the bigger ones. Like there are games that they haven't even announced yet. The Wolf there's... Among Us two. Like I'm looking forward to the Wolf Among Us two more than. Oh my god, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That first one was awesome. Yeah, th- there's honestly there's just like there's going to be too much. We never played everything. We're not going no. to play everything, and we're going to have the same discussion Says a year you. from now. <laughs> no, I'm definitely gonna play everything on my list this year. And oh, and like a dragon, guys, the new Yakuza game. Yakuza game. Well, they've changed the name now. It's called Like a Dragon because I don't know why. I don't know why they decided to do it now, but it's not Like a Dragon in, in the West. No. The Ishin game where it's like set in feudal Japan. But oh yeah, I know Dennis is probably gonna beam with excitement. But yeah, it's a great. Yeah, he's gonna have his soul sucked for he's sure when that soul game comes out. Soul oh sucked. my god, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna get shanked soon. <laughs> but yeah no it's a great game for for it's a great year for games there's anything you want is there i mean what more could you ask for? i'm, I'm really? excited what? i mean i'm excited because uh i'll be uh depressed at the end of the year that i've missed a lot of big titles uh, <laughs> <laughs> but i'll be excited along the way yeah. and i will be your uh, holiday think about the holiday 2023 you'll have so much on your backlog i'll have i'll have so much in my seventh diablo 4 character to play of by the time right? the holiday of next year comes around, oh, <laughs> I'm sticking to barbarian because that's always been my class. I just like wizard, barbarian. wizard, all necromancer. Way. Ooh, necromancer. Yeah, right? fair yeah. enough. I oh, and Dead is Island Druid Duke? back because Druid was my no. Was I don't my believe Diablo so. Two. Yeah, that was my Diablo two. Once it came out, once it was in the in the uh, expansion, that's what I played mostly. But it was oh, man. in three. It was wizard. I love the wizard. Druid is there. Yeah. Oh yes. Which yeah. is sort of a mix between wizard and necromancer. A little of. bit, yeah. yeah. Barbarian, oh, sorceress, druid, rogue, necromancer. All the bangers. Yeah, And there will probably be more. Yeah. Only six more months. Yeah. <laughs> Only six, <laughs> six short months. All right, oh. gentlemen. Uh, let's get people out of here. Let's get us out of here so we can play some more games. And, um, and we'll talk next week about what else we've been playing and some news as the year sort of picks up uh steve where can everybody find your stuff in the meantime yeah you can find me uh and all my stuff just find me across social media at asfigvari all right awesome bobby yourself at be passionately this you can find me on consolecreatures.com just click on my profile and then you can look at my link tree i'm on everything trying to branch on to post post news i think that's the new one and hive i'm trying to get back into and it's just an imminent countdown to uh, twitter's downfall so we're just waiting on that <laughs> we're gonna try and evolve with the rest of the world if let's we keep up with the cool kids yeah and then yeah i mean tw- elon musk has lost half of his wealth and over the holidays so i mean i mean what else could happen it's only a matter so of i guess time. we're doing pretty good then <laughs> I mean, we're, I mean, okay. we're, we're more similar now than we were before the holidays so yeah <laughs> globe and mail just said that 200 million user emails were leaked on twitter so that's oh, something well, amazing Good thing I use my old Hotmail account, so I'm okay. (laughs) (laughs) Security not breached. (laughs) There you go. Yeah. If I get docs, I'm coming for you, Elon. I I know it was you. (laughs) You're you're done, son. 
All right, everybody. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, catch all this stuff on console creatures as well. Lots of reviews coming as the year continues. And we will talk to everybody next week. Bye. Bye.